Alright everyone, welcome back. So, let's see, where were we heading next? Um, we had the gallows to go find enemies amongst us. But I'm also curious about this, the first sacrifice. Because it is, um, it is finding the net. And I'm actually very curious about what's going on there. Um, some Templars after the wife of a guy. And so there's a bit of suspicions going on there, so we'll see if we can find her. Oh, and there's some things to loot here. This feels like I... Is this a different entrance? Yes, it is. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to turn on some of my abilities here. Because of this area, I know we've fought some guys right around the corner, so I just want to make sure everything is ready to go. Excellent, so let's save and go on a little trip. Um, let me just open up the map here. Okay, so she's down there, which is a bit further than I've been before. Last time there was a bunch of enemies here, but so far it looks like we are able to come in here cleanly, which is good. So let's take a look around here. Oh, meeting place. The aren't half as bad as the deep roads. Okay, if you say so. <gasps> is that some elf root? No, it's death root. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, let's go down here. Ooh, it's a little secret area. Alright, let's see what's going on. I have kind of a bad feeling about this, but... Oh, okay. Um, let's just continue on. It looks like... Oh, Emric. Is he dead? Uh-oh. What is going on? Wait. Okay. They don't want any Templars. Well... Oh shit! <laughs> it's pretty powerful, wow, with his little ice blast there. Okay, so a couple of street thugs, let's put one in a crushing prison. Looks like um, Evelyn is taking quite a bit of damage here. I do want to be careful, just watch everyone. It seems to be alright so far, so that's pretty good. And that guy's getting lifted up in the air for some reason. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, oh, and there's a guy behind us, of course. Of course. Oh, and another guy behind me. Okay, there's more and more coming, so let's see if we can do a Mind Blast. Which, uh, oh, it actually worked for once. Excellent. So let's switch to Anders, because he should still have a Crushing Prison. Yep. Um, I'm gonna put that guy in a Crushing Prison. There we go. Okay, so it is a bit different than Origins, where it doesn't immobilize them. In Origins, it does. Looks like um, Aveline's taking some damage, so I'm gonna heal her up. But looks I like we you, are Sarah, good. I thank you, for coming along when you did. I am Emmerich. Just the person I was looking for. Exactly. I need to speak with you about Nanette. Ah, Ghislaine de Carac's wife. Her disappearance interested me. I tried looking into it. However, the investigation has been a waste of time. And why is it a waste of time? Did you learn nothing? Most people just say she left her husband. This all started when Meren, one of our circle mages, disappeared. I found it odd. She was a bit older and hardly adventurous. Then I heard about Ninette and two other missing women. <laughs> I had a friend who disappeared once. Turns out he was under my bed. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think the disappearances are connected, and I suspect foul play is involved. Yes, it does sound, it does sound rather suspicious. It sounds a bit like Jack the Ripper, someone's hunting women down. Um... Alright, no, I don't want to investigate. Uh, yes, this is very suspicious. I don't like the sound of this. Neither do I, Sirrah. But I cannot carry on. Why is that? This battle showed that I'm no longer the warrior I used to be. I know when to walk away. Here, take my findings. Perhaps you can make more use of them. I'm going back to the gallows. I'm too old for this. Doesn't look... In I should look into that. Okay. Well, let's, uh, we've got this area, so I'm gonna take a look around and see if we can find anything. Uh, ooh, a longbow. Okay. But it is for my character, which I can't use. Uh, let's head down here, see if we can find anything of interest. <laughs> a pile of bones with some money. Not like we've had any use for money at this point. Uh, maybe later in the game. I don't know. I'm looking for vendors with potions. Because I do want to stack up on those. 
And there's some kind of creepy drawings. A ring with five health. Alright, let's see if I can give that to anyone. Uh, maybe Aveline, yes. Always a good point. Uh, or maybe Andrews as well, because I know he's the lowest one on health right now, right? 1010, yes, he, he is the lowest one on health. So, why not? Let's just give him a little bit more. Not like that's going to make him much of a difference. But, okay, so that door's locked. So we'll just head out. And looks like... Uh, Somewhere in the low town, there's a foundry that uh, that the guy found. So let's uh, go back up, and we'll head uh, out into low town, I believe. Yes, low town at night, the first sacrifice. So probably gonna face some more enemies in low town because last time there was a bunch of bandits and also mage hunters for Fenris. Um, okay, so yeah, now I am starting to see the area repetition a little bit. Um, so I can I can kind of understand it getting fairly tedious if it keeps happening over and over again. Hey, you got any dust? Dwarf dust? Oh. Nah, I'm good, I'm good. Thank you very much. Um, so I just wanna... Ooh. Ooh. Okay, whoa, okay, that's a lot of guys. Uh, okay, yeah, that's a lot of dudes. So let's see if we, can, we can't do... Whoa, he just exploded. What was that about? Alright, let's see if we can't um, focus down some guys like that sharpshooter guy here. Crushing prison on that guy. Let's switch to Anders here. Let's be super careful. Um, there's another high woman, so let's uh, crushing prison him. Let's see if we can't do that. All right, good, good, good. I'm kind of just picking off the small guys first, so I'm gonna switch back to Hawk and take down the small guys. There we go. There's another high woman who's about to die. Okay, just focus down the ones on low health. Looks like Varg has taken some damage, so let's see if I can heal him up a little bit. There we go. Okay, of course, more guys. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Be, be careful. Uh, I'm gonna switch to Anders here, put a barrier on Aveline. She is taking a little bit of damage. That is probably unnecessary at the moment. Um, I'm gonna take everyone here who's a mage and kind of just go around the corner so that they are not... Uh, being attacked by the mages, because I can see that I am being attacked by a mage, or uh, rangers, rather. Oh, that's what was going on there, so let's heal, um, let's heal Aveline up here, um, put this other guy in a crushing prison, let's see if I can't switch, okay, she is using, oh, that was my character, okay, there we go, no, that was Anders, she was using a crushing prison as well, all right, watch everyone else, okay, Aveline's super low, um, do we have any heals right now? We don't, and our barrier, I believe, is on cooldown, And but we do have a potion. So let's see if we, um... Okay, I'm gonna run her around the corner here, just so that we can kind of hide. Um, she might have some bleed effects on her, so I want to be careful. Oh shit, there's another high woman. Okay. Uh, well, our heals are still on cooldown. Screw it, might as well waste a potion. I don't want her to die, so... There we go. Too many people here. I don't like this. You know, maybe taking a damage spell on my mage is probably a good idea so I can focus down some guys faster. That's probably something I want to do. There we go. Sharp little pinpricks. Directions to the sharps to the sharps base. We've got a new base and you lot better keep the law away. Directions to the low town sneak below, but don't come unless you've got good news or you'll get the answer square in the eyes. Interesting. Um, so that's another quest, probably a side quest of sorts. Let's see. Yeah, it is a side quest. So we have to go and clear out the hideout, which I might do because it is more XP. Oh, and I totally forgot to use my dog again. That's not fun. Uh, maybe I can have a tactic to like cast it again. Okay, so now we've got a couple of things we can do. We can do the Dark Foundry or the Hovel for Sharp Little Pinpricks. I'm actually kind of more curious about the storyline here for the for the Dark Hovel, just uh, because I want to see what happened to those women. So we'll go and do that. Let's go into the Foundry. We did get our health potion back, so actually using it was not too bad. But I do like to stock up just to make sure we are able to stay alive for as long as possible. Knock, knock. And that is a mage. Probably some blood mage of sorts. Okay. This certainly feels like a trap. Uh, of course, shades. And a desire demon. Alright, this should be interesting. Oh, of course, our staff doesn't do anything. Well, that's a fun time. 
What is going on? Everyone just ran up there. Okay. Why is that thing getting healed? That's not cool. Alright, I'm going to switch to Aveline. And we're all going to move up here. They're immune. What is going on? This is bad. Oh, there's an abomination here. Weird. Okay, I need to be careful. Now, if abom abominations are anything like the first game, they will explode. <laughs> so I want to be careful. Can you heal himself? There you go. Good, good, good. Okay. Oh, whoa, Varric just died. Straight up died. Okay. Okay, so now let's uh, get everyone and move away from that abomination because he probably will explode. Uh, okay, I don't like this. Let's see if we can't focus fire this shade down. Um, oh, there's another abomination and more shades. I'm gonna put a crushing prison on this abomination here. And then, um, okay, did he explode? I can't, I don't know, I can't tell. Let's just attack everyone here. Oh, okay, um, we got knocked down here. Let's put a winter's grasp on this one just to see if we can nuke it down faster. No, we can't. Okay, well, Avalon's taking a bit of damage. Let's see if I can't put a, uh, a little bit of a shield on her. There we go. That desire demon is not too nice right now. But whatever, that's fine. Looks like she is still taking a little bit of damage. Okay, uh, I'm not sure what to do here. We've already used our mind blast. Which <laughs> looks like it stuns uh, Anders here. So let's use a mind blast on him. Uh, he's almost dead, so let's... Uh, no, do we have a... Yeah, we have to use a potion here, so... What the hell's Avalyn doing? Oh, maybe it's the Desire Demon that's healing those shades. I think that might be it. So we probably have to, like, keep them away. Hmm. I don't like that. So let's get everyone and just run them downstairs. If we can even do that. It won't let me. Why won't it let me? There we go. Alright, I'm just gonna run downstairs. It's a bigger area. It's gonna be easier to deal with everyone here. So let's uh, see what we can do. Alright. One at a time, let's kill these shades. Why can't it die? Okay, let's just kill that desire demon because I think that's the source of the uh, the healing for everyone, which is not cool. Let's heal up Aveline, and uh, I need to be careful because I want to I want to make sure that uh, Anders doesn't die. He seems to be taking the brunt of the force here. So and come on, buddy, you can just drink a potion. Drink a potion. Stop attacking and drink a potion. I don't know why he can't do that right now. That's not cool. Um, and she's already used her taunt, but yeah, I think Andrews is just toast here at this point. Oh wait, they're getting off of Andrews. Nice. Okay, let's make him drink a potion. Wait, I told you to drink. Come on. There we go. Let's kill this desire demon. There we go. Now we should be in the clear. Let's hope so. And uh, let's see if we can't focus fire down these guys. She is taking some damage, so I'm actually going to use a mana potion, which I've never used yet, so there we go, and let's put a um, little bit of a heal on him, on her, rather. And let's switch to my girl. Let's put another crushing prison on these guys, just one at a time here. Uh, let's see what we can do, and let's summon our Mombari, just for a little bit more damage, that's always useful. Oh shit, more. I did not anticipate this at all. Okay, this is not good. Uh, we'll just keep focus firing here. Everyone's taking a fair amount of damage, but um, that's the best we can do here is focus fire. I don't... Oh, so much damage. Let's uh, mind blast. Aveline's still taking a ton of damage, and we don't have any potions left. Okay. Oh, and there's... They're big shades. Oh, no, this is bad. Okay. Oh, no, no. Don't use the crushing prison. Heal. Heal, 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 heal. Heal. Oh, God. Uh, Anders, can't you do anything? Oh shit, it's healed. I don't have enough mana and my mana potion is on cooldown. This is not cool. Uh, we're so toast. Come on, buddy. You can do this. Uh, and my heal's on cooldown as well. And I think Andrews is just going to die here as well. Yeah, and so I'm the last person alive here. So I think I'm pretty toast as well. Yeah, I'm just going to accept my fate and not waste any potions because I'm just going to die here. Ugh. 
Okay, so I think I know what to do again. I don't know why they all decided to just run up there and be stupid instead of focusing down the person we really, really need to kill. So let's try that again. Okay, so summon my Mombari. And everyone, let's go and kill that desire demon. Go, 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 everyone. Let's just stack crushing prisons on her and just nuke it. And there we go. Boom, boom, boom. He's already used his uh, Winter's Grasp, which is good. Now I need to be careful and watch who's taking some damage, which right now is nobody. Okay, so that's the desire. Come on, <laughs> why won't she die? Oh my god. Okay, everyone seems to be good. Good. Fantastic. Okay, this is going much better. I still don't like that we're kind of in the open and then everyone's kind of just beating on them. But this is a much, much better situation than before. Okay, Aveline's taking a ton of damage. Let's give her a barrier and let's heal her up as well. There's still one shade up there, it looks like. Nope, never mind. Okay. So there we go. Second wave. Much faster. Oh, I totally wasted that. That was stupid. Um, okay, so she's used her, her crushing prison. Excellent. Okay. We're doing quite well. Or at least I would imagine we are. Everyone's health is still very high up, which is good. And we only have a couple of things to deal with, so that's good. I don't know why they're immune to so much damage. I don't know what's going on there. Alright, let's kill this little baby Shay here, it's kind of silly. And everyone's in really, really good shape right now, this is fantastic. Boom! Okay. No, I don't like it either, but you remember we saw that mage? I don't like that we totally got destroyed the first time, but it looks like we just... Um, ooh, demonic rod. <laughs> sounds kind of dirty. Demonic rod. For 20 damage per second. I mean, I like my staff better because it has more attributes, but maybe Andrews wants this thing? What does he have? Oh, he has a bunch of stuff, which is just better. It doesn't do as much damage. Oh, actually, one of the things I should do, because mine does spirit damage, so if my staff doesn't do anything, which I'm pretty sure it doesn't, I'll switch it out for this demon rod here in just a moment, just to um, see if it actually helps against the shades. <gasps> Ooh, oh, just finally. Okay, Varric, this is your time to show. Oh, God, there was a trap. What? What is he trapped by? Oh, that scared me. Okay, everyone just focus fire on one thing at a time. Good, crushing prison. Okay, let's um, switch and give you a different staff. There we go. Is this staff doing something? I think it is. Alright, that's better. Oh, and these are against uh, demons and undead, so it is pretty good. Okay, let's put a barrier on uh, Aveline here because she is taking some damage, so I want to be careful. And uh, I'm going to turn around with Anders. Never mind. I was going to put a crushing prison on one of these shades, but they're all taking a fair amount of damage. Okay. <laughs> that caught me by surprise. Are you... Oh, come on. Do we need 30? Do we really need 30? Ugh, I brought a freaking rogue for nothing. That's no fun. I don't like that mechanic. Oh, well. So, is there anything on this side that we can loot? Oh, it looks like there is. Oh, but I want to be very careful. Um, so let's just go take the long way around. We might discover something that is interesting to take. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Saw that coming. That's fine. More XP. More XP is always right. It's always good, right? Okay, so let's back up here. Um, we need to focus fire one at a time. It's usually the best way to do things because we take them down one by one faster so that um, there's less damage coming to us. I'm not sure if that makes any sense. But uh, the faster you take away the damage sources, the less damage you take. Because right now we are doing pretty darn good, so there we go. Why won't he die? Okay. Is there anything else we can loot here? Nope. So let's save and carry on very carefully, because there might be more shades and ambushes, which I'm not too happy about. Some demonic robes with... that's weird. <laughs> Those are very strange. They do nothing. Apart from... I mean, maybe like maybe if I didn't have this DLC, that's something that I would wear. Sack of Bones, Designed. Rune of Fire, Opal Fragment, and that's Ring. Oh, uh, oh. That ring looks all legion. A severed hand, a ring, and a pile of bones. 
Emmerich will want to see this. And I should bring the ring to Ghislaine. It might belong to Nanette. Well, it says right on the box that it does, so... <laughs> Is there any more bullshit down here? Nope, but we do have another headpiece here. Stamina... Oh, we actually can't wear our helmet. Interesting. Stamina regeneration helmet. Oh, that could be good. Uh, but it looks like our defense helmet is still working even though if we take it off we won't be able to put it back on again and why is that because we took off uh, we took off the staff that gives me attribute points and one of those points is strength I'm actually gonna switch back to that staff because I like it better it has more things that it gives me which in the long run is better it's just the staff right now that I was using before is uh, better for the undead and I can, I can actually do damage with it and things like that Okay, so now we need to head out, out of there and um, go and give the ring back. Oh, no, actually, there's that uh, pinprick little um, um, hideout. So let's go clear that out for a little bit more XP. Unless we're going to get jumped here, which I suspect we are. Um, so I'm a little bit on the jumpy side right now. But that's fine. Oh, another barrel. Okay. More money. Not like we need it. So let's just head in here. Oh, just right off the bat. Okay, everybody. Um, okay. Well, let's do what we do. I'm wondering if we should uh, kill him first or not, but hey, you never know. Let's switch to Mr. Anders here and put another highwayman in a crushing prison. Oh, okay, good. She healed herself. That was terrifying. <laughs> My girl almost went down there, so... You know, I am, I'm suspecting maybe we should have saved before heading in here, but actually, we're not doing too, too bad. But that guy is an assassin, so we want to be super careful, because he's going to, yeah, he's going to nuke, he's going to nuke us real hard. So there we go, let's heal up. Let's kill, oh god, what was that? Varric, did you do that? Did you do that? That's not funny. Alright, Andrews, get back up. Um, your shield is on cooldown, or rather, your crushing presumption is on cooldown. Mine as well. Let's actually switch back to um, Anders and do a icy touch thingy, Witcher's Grasp. Oh, he heals. He has, uh, he has some potions. Interesting. Well, he does won't live any much longer. There we go. <laughs> Messing with us is suicidal. Wouldn't you agree? Okay, Butcher's Gloves, Dexterity, those are for... Oh, he's got like a whole set of stuff. Cool, cool. All right, but nothing that I can really wear. All of that stuff is... Uh, uh, uh. Okay, don't mess with me. Um, I'm kind of curious if anyone else can wear things. Not just rings, weapons, and shirts. But I feel like their shirts um, I cannot change because... Oh, of course, more people. This is where I should have saved. Nah, we're fine. Okay, good. Uh... Are we out of combat? No, there's probably more stuff on the other side there. Yes, of course there is. Nothing like we can't handle anyways, so... There we go. <laughs> Quest complete. Uh, Alright, cool. Some more money. Does this guy have anything? Uh-oh. We don't want to scratch Bianca. Not beautiful Bianca. Cool, we got out of that with no injuries, both of those little um, side quests, so that's good. Good job in there. In fact, get rid of any other groups like that, and I'll be at the Hanged Man with some toys as reward. Courtesy of some interested friends. The Hanged Man? Oh, how about that? If we go to the Hanged Man, there's rewards? By all means, I will take a look then. Just, uh, we might get jumped on the way there. No, okay. Good. Well, she says, do we have to take out a few more, or is that it? Well, I don't know. Let's go check the hanged man, then. You owe us, Isabella. Well, Lucky, I'll tell you what. Since the information you gave me was worth nothing, that's what I'll pay you. My boys will get our money's worth, bitch. Oh, you poor sweet thing. Tired. 
tell me, Lucky, is this worth dying for? <laughs> I didn't think so. Nice little guitar riff there. Now, for those who don't remember, that girl was in Dragon Age 1, but she also looked very, very different. Um, she was in one of the brothels. Hello there. You're new around here, aren't you? Welcome, and keep your wits about you. You're nothing but tits and arse to the men in this place, and they won't hesitate to grab at both. Ah, uh, okay. Well, uh, good to know. Thanks for the advice. Anytime. I'm Isabella. Previously Captain Isabella. Sadly, without my ship, the title rings a bit hollow. You're Ferelden, aren't you? You have that look about you. I was in Denerim not too long ago. You know, you might be just what I'm looking for to solve a little problem I have. So what exactly do you need? Also, every time it cuts to her face, the frame rate drops to like 10. I'm always ready to help. Someone from my past has been pestering me. I've arranged for a duel. If I win, he leaves me alone. But I don't trust him to play fair. I need someone to watch my back. Okay, sounds good. Um, who's this person from your past? Who's this person you've arranged to meet? His name is Hader. We worked together back in Antiva. He's never liked me. He's been asking about me all around Kirkwall. Thought I'd get it over with and meet him face to face. Sounds good. All right, sure, I'll do it. I'll help you out. I think I could manage watching your back. <laughs> I'll bet. Oh, my. I've arranged to meet Hader in Hightown after dark. I'll meet you there. Hmm. <laughs> I think the phrase is, I like the cut of her jib. Not that I would use that, but uh, that might be the phrase. It looks like Varric has something to tell us, so let's see if he has anything to say. So, I've been dying to know. What was going through your head when you fought that ogre? Ah, uh, that he was, yes, quite big. He did come over the cliff and running rather quickly. It was mostly bloodlust, though, because I remember that, uh, yeah, well, he killed, he killed Bethany, so I wanted to kill him back. If I remember correctly, actually, yeah, thinking back to the first episode, I did swear a little bit, I think, towards him. Um, yeah, so actually bloodlust, you're right. I barely noticed what it was. It stood in my way, so I killed it. If I said that, I'd be full of shit. When you say it, I almost believe it. <laughs> Somehow, Hawk, I imagine things won't be dull with you around. Not that I expect the deep roads to be boring, mind you. Constant threat of doom does tend to keep you awake. Let's discuss the expedition. What are your plans for this trip into the deep roads? Bartrand's running the show. On Draste's ass, he'd probably do that even if we weren't paying for everything. The tide we're looking for is supposed to be a week's travel from the surface. So I hope you aren't scared of the dark. We've got supplies, muscle, excavators. The plan is to carry out everything that's not nailed down. Have you ever been underground? I'm kind of curious. What are the deep roads like? Well, I could tell you the standard tales. Legions of dark spawn, ravenous beasts, cave-ins. I've spent my whole life in Kirkwall. Dangerous enough most days, but it doesn't compare to the deep roads. So, this will be... let's just call it an adventure, I guess. Great! Now we're adventurous! Okay, what? Why does he not like me? I don't know. But it sounds like, to me, this sounds like the deep roads is I the... I good things about you, Anders. Not what I expected. From a maid, you mean? I didn't say that. How else would you judge me? What else am I a shining example of? I don't know. Other Ferelden's lurking in Darktown? Mage or not? You... have a fair point. I was just about to say, I feel like the Deep Roads is the end game of this game, um, but I'm still not really exactly sure what our motives are. Um, so we've got another heal. Fools rush in and we've got a few things. Um, well, I do want to to do the that quest with the missing woman um, and see if we can investigate further. 
if there's anything to find out, really. It looks like Emmerich's right there, so let's see if he has anything interesting to say. Hey, Emmerich. You might want to see this. This was left in the foundry you mentioned in your notes. I was also attacked by shades. These are human bones. Then there is no chance of finding Meren alive, or any of the others. I don't know what to answer here. I mean, I did what I could. Yeah, I fought against those demons, but... I mean, I kind of want to go after the killer, but not really. So let's just go with that. I did what I could. I saw someone leaving the scene, but they got away. I'm sorry. It was more than I accomplished. My people have been slow to react, but this needs official support. I will bring this to the city guard immediately. It should be enough to convince them the disappearances are worth investigating. Thank you, then. Alright, that turned out better than I expected. That's good. Um, I'm seeing... I'm gonna see if I can empty my inventory here real quick because there is a weapon shop. Okay, that guy was selling a rune as well. Maybe I should have bought it. It increases protection, so it actually could be pretty good for, um, for our tank to survive longer. Hello. Do you know a recruit named Karen? His sister is looking for him. We cannot speak to you, Messer. To the void with that. Karen and the others are missing. But our orders... The knights aren't doing anything to find them. Maybe it's time to ask for outside help. But why do you have to keep quiet about this? Why must you keep silent about Karen? You obviously aren't a Templar, Messer. A knight lieutenant gives you an order and you obey, without question. They told us not to breathe a word about Karen and the others. They must have their reasons. And that'll be a great comfort if you go missing next. All right, perhaps there's something I can do to help. Um... You can trust me. I'm only trying to keep Karen safe. I hear that Knight Commander Meredith has some new initiation you have to go through. If you're not strong enough or fervent enough in belief, you don't make it out alive. Figures. And you honestly believe that? Recruits keep going missing. Wilmot came back. What? He did. I saw him this morning. Could you tell me anything about the initiation? What else do you know about the initiation? You hear about some uh, questionable things that the Order must do these days. The Knight Commander only wants Templars that can do what must be done. And draw stay alive. She's killing recruits that might question her orders, isn't she? That's rubbish. She wouldn't do that. I might want to talk to Wilman about this. Do you know where he is? If Wilmot came back, he might know more about the other missing recruits. I bet he would. Wilmot told me he was going outside Kirkwall. Clear his head, he said. Why didn't you tell us this? Knight Captain Cullen ordered it, right before he chased after Wilmot. That wasn't too long ago. If you hurry, you may catch them on the road. All right, uh, so I guess we're heading out of, uh, out of Kirkwall for the first time. Let's see if I can track them down. Yeah, she says we have to hurry, but I feel like maybe there's no urgency, but still, I do want to... The Bone Pit, Enemies Among Us. What was the quest again? Oh god, there's so many things outside to do here. Just a moment, I need to check again. It is indeed called Enemies Among Us. It's at this camp here, so let's go take a look. Okay, we're heading outside for the first time. Let's see. I mean, we've got a couple of paths to take, but uh, looks like let's take the low road first. Never know what we can find. Ooh, more piles of bones. That's not ominous at all, <laughs> or what awaits us. Let's see here. Hello, hello. And trust they be my witness, Wilmot. I will have the truth from you now. Mercy, sir. Mercy. Were it that easy. <laughs> Don't hit me. Oh, what is going on here? Hey. I will know where you're going, and I will know now. What are you doing? Why are you doing this to Wilmot? Answer me. This is Templar business, stranger. <laughs> you have struck me the last time, you pathetic human. To me! Make her preserve us. Okay. <laughs> so this might not end well, but let's see what can we do here. 
Um, so these are abominations. I'm actually going to switch my staff so I can actually damage them. And uh, let's see if we can focus fire here. I'm actually going to summon my hound and kill these abominations as fast as we can. Um, let's switch to Anders here, who is going to put another question person on this other abomination. Um, I still don't remember if they exploded or not, so I do want to be careful about that. From the looks of it, no. Okay, that's good. Oh, got knocked back. That's fine. Let's try and kill another one here. One at a time. Um, where did Wilman go? Oh, okay. More, more, more abominations. Um, I have a s suspicion that he might be summoning more and more of them um, as time goes on. So let's try and be careful. Okay, let's go kill that one that's going after Anders here. I'm not too happy with that one. Oh, 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 Vark, don't die on me, please. There we go, excellent. Um, so let's just keep focus firing. I do, I'm do. i going to put a crushing prison on this one here, and then Andrews is going to put a crushing prison on another one if I can try and... Uh, there we go. All right. Uh, just watching everyone's health. I don't know where Wilman went. He just disappeared, but that's fine. No, he's right. That's the dog. I actually see the dog. Never mind. There we go. Let's just kill this one here. Watch everyone's health. I know Andrews is pretty low here, so... Oh, okay, that's me. <laughs> Ouch, that hurt. Okay, let's see. This one next. Gotta be super careful. Oh, um... Aveline's taking some damage, so I'm gonna put a, a little bubble around her so that she can kind of survive that. Uh, is there any other... Yes, there is another big ass... Okay, that's Wellman, never mind. So there's a Rage Demon as well. I don't know if I should really be saving Wilman for last or not. That seems kind of um, ill-advised, but there we go. Uh, oh, she's very low. Do we have any heal? We don't have a heal yet. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of throw caution to the wind and hope for the best here. Everyone just attack Wilman. She is still taking some, a fair amount of damage. I'm actually just gonna tell her to pot. Why not? There we go. Um, I'm, I don't want her to die. Okay, Wilman's almost down here, so let's just keep at it, keep at it. There we go. There's still a Rage Demon, though. There he is. Boom. Surprise! Okay, uh, Crushing Prison. And my Crushing Prison is on cooldown, which is fine. Okay, her staff is not doing anything, so I'm gonna switch back to this one. And it is doing something. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's a bit inconvenient that it switches back and forth. Whew. I knew. I knew he was involved in something sinister. But this... Is it even possible? He was an ab... <laughs> he was an abomination? Do you think he was possessed? Normally, we only worry that mages will fall victim to possession. Hmm, this is worrying news. I have heard of blood mages or demons in solid form who could summon others into unwilling hosts. Ugh. I had not thought one of our own would be susceptible. Yes, me neither. I'm glad I was here to, here to help. It looks like things could have turned badly. You shouldn't have been out here alone with him. I am Knight Captain Cullen. I thank you for your assistance. I have been conducting an investigation of some of our recruits who have gone missing. Wilmard was the first to return. I had hoped to confront him quietly, out of sight. Why did you attack him? If you didn't know he was possessed, why draw your sword on a recruit? He'd only been back a few days when he left again secretly. It set off some warning bells. I can imagine that, yes. I meant to scare him into a confession. He had to believe my threats were genuine. What do you think happened? Do you know what happened to Wilmard while he was gone? <laughs> Obviously more than I had anticipated. Wilmard has never been fully... Convinced of the Order's rules. Mages cannot be our friends. They must always be watched. I thought Wilmot might be meeting with some old friends who'd escaped the Circle. You know that not all mages are bad, right? I've got friends who are mages. Are you saying they need to always be watched as well? I was at the Circle Tower in Ferelden during the Blight. I saw firsthand how Templars' trust and leniency can be rewarded. Trust and leniency? Is that what you call it? I still have nightmares of Aldred's depravities. Hmm. We should put an end to this if they're still being converted. Your other recruits are still at risk. We must find them. 
I fear we're already too late. Wilma disappeared along with another lad, Karen, a good boy. They were last seen together at the Blooming Rose. But I had no luck interrogating the, uh, young ladies. <laughs> I doubt they know anything of magic or demons. Perhaps I'll have better luck with them then. I'll speak with them. You never know how much you can learn from pillow talk. Oh my god! <laughs> the order would truly be in your debt if you helped us with this. No one at the brothel will speak with me for fear I would shut them down for serving our recruits. If you learn what manner of creature did this to Wilmot, please come tell me in the gallows. I will ensure you are rewarded. Alright, sounds good to me. So, let's uh, loot all of our nonsense here that we killed. See if we've got anything interesting. More designs. I'm still not entirely sure how to use those, but that's fine. Um, let's give this belt to someone who doesn't have a belt. Do they all have belts? So never mind. We are good to go then. Uh, more health potions. Those are always, always welcome. Let's loot this other abomination. More money. More money from Wilmond as well. Uh, looks like we can leave the area, but there is a little bit of a crevice up there. A little alcove that I haven't looked at yet. So I'm going to turn the corner here and see if I can't find anything of interest. Like this corpse, for example, who has an opal fragment, which is kind of useless, but that's fine. So now let's actually leave the area, because we have nothing else to do. Um, he said to go to the Blooming Rose, so let's go to this brothel and uh, see if we can't learn anything from a little pillow talk, as uh, as she so nicely puts it. Enemies amongst us, sure, let's do that. Oh, and it's, it is quite a distance away, so hopefully we won't get attacked on the way there. Oh, but there is Isabella here, so let's be careful. We are in combat, but I'm not sure what from. Hey, Isabella. Can we not talk to you? Apparently not. Uh, let's go find who's trying to attack us. What's going on? Okay, they're actually in this other room here. Weird. Oh, uh, there's quite a lot of them, actually. Uh, that's, that's way too many. I don't like that at all. So, let's uh, grab everyone, tell them to hold position, and run back. Because that is way too many. I wonder if Isabella will help, be able to help us. Probably not, but that's okay. Let's just go for it, nuke everyone, whatever. I am going to step back a little bit because I am going... I'm a little afraid of uh, what's going to happen here with Varric. <laughs> because he has a tendency of uh, being kind of a, a, a dick and killing everyone with his fire arrows that he just did. Yep, yeah, see? Anders is dead. Great, good job, Varg. Good job. Uh, I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. Let's heal up Avalyn here. Oh, that's a lot more than I expected. Come on, you guys. Be super careful. Uh, I don't like this. Okay, kill this guy here, please. Uh, oh, there we go. They're all on fire. Excellent. Let's put that one in a crushing prison, because I don't like him. Oh, 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 Aveline. Uh, pot, please. Now. Oh, okay, she's dead. Never mind. <sighs> Fuck you, Vark. I don't like what he just did. Okay, let's summon Armambari as well. I'm not healing you, Vark. Fuck you. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Okay, I'm gonna step in there and then do a mind blast. Which did nothing! What the fuck? <laughs> that is the most useless mind blast ever. Okay. Okay, that's a nice bursting arrow, though. That's actually pretty good. Okay, I'll tell him to heal up. Um, and then I'll use a heal on myself. Let's see, let's um, kill this pretender here. He's right here. He's right up in my face, which I don't like. Okay, let's heal up. And let's also put a crushing prison on him. There we go. Come on, come on. Watch for it. Watch out for it. Don't die on me. Okay, good, 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 good. That one's dead. And let's see if we can't do a mind blast. There we go. Just to interrupt them um, and keep them off of Varric. Actually, that makes them attack Varric. Never mind. That's stupid. Because um, now I think they're all dead. Yeah, except me. 
<laughs> well, this is going fantastically. Oh, because Varric decided to light us all on fire. Which is not the first time. Which is, yeah, this is... He's done that before. What the... This Mind Blast is horrible. Yeah, this, this Mind Blast is completely useless. Can we get everyone back up, please? And Vark stop being a dumbass. I'm actually just gonna run back to the house to remove all those injuries. Hopefully we won't have to do that fight again, because if we do, that's kind of dumb. Um, I'm gonna save again. Because <laughs> I don't want to waste my injury kits. I only want to, like, keep them, just in case we actually really need them in the middle of, a, like, an environment that we can't get out of and we need to, uh, and we need to heal up. So, yeah. I'm almost debating not taking Vark because he's kind of annoying. Okay, so let's see if we're not in combat this time so we can talk to Isabella. There we go. Hey, Isabella. There you are. I've been here for hours. Ada hasn't shown up. No one has. I don't like this. I don't like this? <laughs> That's right up there with what could possibly go wrong. That's the wench we're looking for. Gut her. Uh, of course, it's a setup. Well, no worries, everyone. We are ready for this. Boom. Okay, I'm actually gonna attack this guy and put him in a crushing prison. And boom. Attack him. Then attack the other one, who's gonna die very quickly. Oh, there's more than one archer. Of course, there's more than one archer. Let's uh, watch Varric as well. He's probably gonna get hit here pretty hard. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna get hit pretty hard. Because that girl with the axe is going around axing everyone. Okay, let's watch uh, watch Avalyn's health because she is tanking the axe girl here. I'm gonna heal up Avalyn. There we go. And boom, next person. Oh, of course she has a potion. Let's see. Okay, oh, he's still got his crushed prison. Then put it on her. Go. Awesome. Make short work of her. Do get results, don't you? Hader sent them. Search the bodies. Hiding in the chantry and sending thugs to finish me off. Coward. Hiding in the chantry, is he? All right. Well, I'm actually, away with this. <laughs> come on. I'm not going to go to the chantry just yet. Um, actually, well, she is running off, so I do want to maybe follow her. This was not what I had planned. I wanted to go to the blooming rose first, but hey. I guess we're following Isabella now. Oh god damn it. Uh mind blast, let's see what what's going on here. A couple of archers. So let's do that. Crushing prison. Watch out for that bursting arrow right in the middle of everyone. Good job, Rark. And I'm saying that actually legitimately, that was a pretty decent bursting arrow. It did hit Aveline though, so I'm just being careful here. Let's switch to Anders and put a little bubble on Aveline um, so that she doesn't die. And let's actually put this guy in the crushing prison so that uh, we're reducing a bit of damage on Aveline. And there we go. Alright. Next person. Oh, we've still got our um, our little uh, winter's grasp here, so there we go. Oh, of course, there's another um, there's another <laughs> uh, archer. So I'm actually going to take Anders and Vark, and we're going to move them into a safer area here, so that um, they're not in the line of sight of the other archers, which at this point I feel like they are. Aveline's taking a fair amount of damage, so I'm actually going to heal her up with Anders here. There we go. Um, and let's see what's going on. More and more archers. I'm actually gonna focus fire this one down because it's about to die. So might as well take it down. There's another one here in the corner that's gonna die. I don't think that bursting arrow hit anybody, but that's all right. And we've got this other archer here. Come on, let's put him in the crushing prison. Boom, there we go. And... Is that everyone? Nope, just one more guy. All right. Whew. Let's save again and follow Isabella into the Chantry. Even though we've already been here. And you know what? Actually, we'll uh, find out the epic conclusion to her duel in the next episode. I'm going to end it there, guys. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. And do take care. Have a good day. And see you in the next episode.
bye bye.